Hello, here we are with an unboxing of the much anticipated HTC One. So here is the official retail packaging. And as we can see, we've got the HTC One or the 801N. There we go, so made in Taiwan. Nice box here, a bit different to other HTCs of the past. So on the back here, we've got some of the specifications highlighted. So we've got 32 gig of internal memory. We've got Beats Audio on board. We've got Android with HTC Sense. We've got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 1.7 gigahertz processor, micro SIM, two gig of RAM, 4.7 inch 1080p full HD display with 468 PPI. We've got HTC Boom Sound with built-in amplifier and Beats Audio. We've got HTC's Ultra Pixel camera. Uh, we've got an f2.0 28mm lens, LED flash, HTC Image Chip 2 with HDR vid video, HTC Zoe, a 2.1 megapixel 88 degree wide angle lens front face camera bluetooth wi-fi dlna a gps glonass nfc it's got the lot this is a high-end phone so with all the specs reeled off let's take a look at what you get in the box so here is the htc one in silver there is also a black variant available as well but we'll come back to that in just a moment so lift off the cover here and uh, the package content is fairly standard. So you get the uh, stickers with the IMEIs and things on. We've got some seals for the box. We've got a micro uh, SIM card ejector tool. This uses a micro SIM and a little tray like the previous HTC uh, devices. So use that for removing it. We've got a uh, very quick start sort of guide here. We've got the warranty statement regulatory information, a little uh, booklet with the accessories that you can get for the HTC One, the double dip case, the double dip flip case, the media link, the battery bank, headphones, car kit, all of which are available from clove.co.uk. Then we've got a two part mains adapter so we've got a USB port on the top of the mains brick here with a detachable three pin UK mains adapter because this is a UK spec device. You attach the two together and connect the provided USB cable to it to charge the phone. You've got full USB connection on one end, a micro USB on the other. You can also use this cable to connect to your computer. Then you get a set of rather funky 3.5 millimeter in-ear headphones with uh, flat cables and replacement ear uh, sort of buds uh, in different sizes in red so rather stylish because it's a Beats Audio phone so that's the packaging and here is the phone itself so let's just uh, peel off the plastic here and show you what we've actually got. So let's start on the back as we're here. So on the back, we do have this ultra pixel camera. Um, it's basically not measured in megapixels like we have on every other camera going. It's all designed to get a better image. It's a bigger sensor, more light, and it's gonna give you better pictures as a result. Records in full 1080p HD. We've got an LED flash, of course, there's autofocus, there's HDR for pictures and video, got a rear facing microphone, we've got this white banding around it and it's a bit tricky to see here but the camera is ever so slightly recessed which is going to be a nice thing for some people, just stops it getting scratched quite so much. On the back here we've got the HTC logo, we've got the Beats Audio logo and then we've got the banding down here as well as well as some regulatory information. And um, we'll be quite honest here, we've already switched this device on to set it up because there's so many features to actually show you. This, of course, is the silver one. This is the aluminium casing. It's stunning. Um, it really feels the part. On the side here, we've then got the volume up and down key. That's really quite a nice plush key. 
We've got white banding all the way around. Then on the bottom, we've got the micro USB connection uh, and MHL connection there for TV out. We've got a microphone. Come round to the other side. It's flush with the exception of the micro SIM card slot with uh, the ejector pinhole there as well. Then on the top, we've got a rather odd looking power button that also doubles up as an infrared remote. We'll come on to that in a moment. Got the 3.5 uh, millimeter headphone jack. And then on the front, we've got the front facing camera for uh, your video calls and pictures. We've got a variety of sensors. You'll see probably just flashing there, a little LED notification light. We've got two touch sensitive navigation buttons, a home and a back button. The HTC logo here. Um, these are touch sensitive, the HTC logo isn't. It's a very different key layout to a lot of Android devices. So if you're a familiar HTC user or Sony or Samsung, this is gonna take a little bit of getting used to. And then the next thing you notice are these drilled holes, both top and bottom. These are the dual front facing speakers that uh, you've probably heard so much about in the press releases, in the adverts, and we'll come on to that in a moment. So without further ado, let's power it up. And as I said, because there's so many features on this phone, uh, we didn't really have an option but to sort of set it up um, to actually show you these items in action because even for us, when we're working with these on a daily basis, you need to get to know some of the cool new features that are uh, coming out on the HTC One. So we've got a variety of different home screens here. Now, we've set our home screen up here. This is a more standard home screen as you'd expect on an Android device, but straight out the box, you get this home screen, which is customizable to a point. This is HTC Blink Feed, and what this does is it brings in all of the key data from your connected services. At the moment, specifically Facebook, Twitter, and uh, other news services, which we'll look at in just a moment, but you can see it automatically refreshes. You can scroll through your content. You can click into particular stories and be taken through to your Facebook app. It's designed to be quite a quick and easy way to get to some of the core content that we want. If I pull down here, you can see I can release it to refresh the content and it goes to update. But I also have the options when I pull down to quickly tap here and I can write a new status with Facebook, Flickr, LinkedIn or Twitter. I can search for news stories or I can come here and I can customize the topics and services. So I could go for the headlines from the Guardian or the Independent. I can connect up certain applications. So you can see I've got my Facebook, Flickr. I could have my calendar in there. Now at the moment, one of the downfalls is there isn't an extensive list of apps that are designed to work with Blinkfeed, but that's bound to increase. You can also select news from different services uh, and um, categories. So we could have business news coming up. And if we were happy with all of that, your feed would then update with related content. We've got the clock application at the top here. Fairly standard, but you've got the timer, you've got a stopwatch, you've got your alarms, and you've got your world clock, as you sort of come to expect. Now, this is going to take a bit of getting used to. Uh, the reason we've set our home screen as this is we like the Blink Feed a lot. Um, it's rather innovative, but it does take some time to get used to. And if you're really into social networks, then this is great. But at the moment, we would like to see some more advances with Google Plus integration uh, and some other services. So we don't always like to necessarily use the default apps such as Facebook. Uh, I personally use um, Hootsuite for a lot of stuff. But you can customize your home screen in sort of similar way where you've got your widgets and apps and I can remove them or I can got this option to edit and I can move them about my home screens and place them where I like. 
resize them. There we go. So I can move my apps about as you would with any Android device. Commonly on an Android device, you press and hold the um, home screen and you get a menu come up as you do here. Slightly redesigned, you've got widgets, apps, shortcuts, so you can select what you want. So if I want a Chrome shortcut, I can pull it up here and drop it onto the home screen. Interestingly, if I press on that, you can see these two go red. That's because they're full and nothing can be added to them. So it's telling me that only this one can have something added to it. I can click add panel up here as well and that will allow me to add another home screen. To delete a home screen I press and hold on it and I drag it up to remove or set as home so if I remove that there. So if I wanted the blink feed back as my home screen I press and hold and click set as home. You now look got that little home icon. I can press home and I'll be taken straight through to blink feed once again. You can of course customize what appears down here. You can click your apps and this is where uh, you've got your list of applications. Now we've customized the look of this a little bit as well. So you can see again from scrolling down we've got the options here. So we can have our own custom layout, alphabetical or most recent. We've got the ability to search. We've also got quick access to the Play Store and then we've got more op options here um, including manage apps, the grid size, so as standard it's 3 by 4 so it's much bigger, much cleaner. It makes for um, a very different look to a lot of other Android devices. So this is running Android but this is probably the furthest look away from stock Android as we've seen to date on any mobile devices. So you'd be forgiven for thinking what is the operating system on here and if we scroll down here at the top and just go through to the settings we'll just show you that it is indeed a Google Android on here. So here's some of the, the key specs Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 2.1 front facing camera, 4 0.7 inch screen and then there's the software information so it's Android version 4.1.2 with HTC Sense version 5. Just come back out of the settings here. It's all brought, sort of been redesigned a little bit here. Language and keyboard, uh, we have got a separate video on our YouTube channel showing you the language options that you can customize. We've got sound options here as you sort of expect but you've got the quiet pickup on uh, quiet ring on pickup should I say so if your phone's ringing it's generally quite loud as you pick it up it goes quiet got pocket mode as well come back out of here we've got uh, beats audio the ability to switch it on or off so that's to amplify the sound you've got uh, your sort of general screen options here and um, your gestures for certain things. You've got the ability to transfer content. One of the things that HTC are really pushing with this phone is the ability to um, easily transfer your content from other devices, be it iPhone, Android, another HTC phone. It's made as simple as it possibly can be. Got all your location settings. You've got your ability to personalize your wallpapers and lock screens so I can change it all here if I wish. you got your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data, media output, more with you know your mobile network sharing, NFC, it's all here. So if I go back here, now you can see I've sort of got used to these sort of different layout of buttons, it will take some time. One thing I have noticed, you have to be quite precise on where you actually tap them. Um, silly little thing is when you're in the apps tray a lot of the times on previous devices being able to press the back key and that would take me out of the apps tray but you have to press the home key on the HTC One which is just a slight frustration for something you get so used to doing on other devices. So there's so much to uh, sort of show you on this phone. Um, let's go into the apps and just run through. So you've got a car mode on here 
which is optimized for easy, safe use within a vehicle. So big clear buttons, the ability to access a lot of the content very easily. So we click exit there, got Dropbox and Facebook sort of downloaded and installed as standard. You've got a flashlight on the phone which uses the rear LED flash with three strength settings. And come out of that, we've got Google Plus, we've got an FM radio, we've got a kid mode which you can customize to make safe for children, which is always useful to send, save them spending your money in the App Store. You've got navigation, you've got notes which syncs with Google uh, Tasks, playbooks, music, Polaris Office, Soundhorn, um, Stocks. Um, apologies there on the, on the notes, it actually syncs with the um, tasks here. Um, in your, that's tasks that syncs with Google Tasks, not the notes. You've got Google Talk, TuneIn Radio. Um, YouTube, as you sort of come to expect. So let's just touch on this, the TV remote. So we said about the uh, weird looking power button, that's because it's got infrared built in and you can use your phone as remote control to your television or your cable box. So as you can see here, I've got bedroom and virgin bedroom. So the bedroom there is to symbolize my television and I've got a virgin box connected to my bedroom TV. So I can select different remote controls for either one. It gives me a slight different configuration and I can confirm this is working. You can power on your television with the power button there. You can control the menus, change the channel, type in numbers all by pointing your phone at the television. It works. It works for Virgin Media as well. So I've even got the options to do my play, pause, stop, record. It all functions really simply. It's really easy to connect as well. And what HTC have done here is really step up to the mark. They kind of think you might be sat on your sofa or you're in your bedroom and you're going to have your phone with you. So why not actually control your television? Um, you know, it, it's simple, but it really does work. So I can vouch for that. And that's a feature I really do quite like. And as part of it, you can actually see what's on television at that time. So as you can see here, these are the programs on television at the moment. And if you see that little blue line, under each one it shows you how far through the program you actually are, what's showing next. So it's really quite great. You've got what's on this week. You've got um, options to pick up videos that you've actually got um, on your phone itself. What you've got scheduled. There are loads of features and it takes you um, even if you're into your smartphone, it's a bit of time to pick it all up and work out all the features, how it works. Um, it's really quite impressive. So the next thing I'm going to show you is the gallery and then we'll come on to the camera in a moment. So what you can see here is I've got some photos on my phone that I've taken um, today. But you see that little animation at the top there? That's called an HTC Zoe. And what that is doing is taking some of the content that I've got stored on my phone and making like a mini movie out of it. So here I've got some pictures I've been taking of my dog today. And it's taken a variety of clips and video recordings and sort of put them all together in this sort of little montage of clips that I've taken on this day, um, which is really great. So I can click onto a picture that I've taken. And what you saw there was what's called a Zoe. That's about three seconds of clip. And it takes the sound with the picture so you can sort of recapture the moment. So there we go. Really short, really sweet. get the idea it's really brief but it just captures the moment sort of perfectly then I've got sort of a just a normal video that I've recorded here you know I can play that back through like I would any normal sort of video there's quite a bit of wind noise on this 
but you've got the pictures you can sort of zoom in as you would quite normally so really is pretty cool uh, in terms of some of the things that it does there so there's just another Zoe there and you can click in to play it again really short burst to recapture the moment and then you've got all of these options to actually share it so you can share it online um, with HTC share and it kind of keeps an online um, backup of it so you've got then the traditional share options as well from Facebook to your messaging to your mail and you can do a slideshow here and you can play music back let's just select the first track here okay and what it's just going to do quickly is make a montage and this is uh, Zoe highlights just and then the whole Zoe application taking the pictures and making it into um, a little sort of video clip to recapture a particular event on the actual phone um, so it could be all pictures you've taken from one day or, or what have you it's um, quite a clever way of capturing content and it saves you from sort of editing the stuff yourself how often do you want to show off content to your family and friends you know pictures you may have taken um, but you don't want to spend the time editing it all and just showing pictures and video can be a little bit boring so sort of playing this little montage um, is quite good it does all the effects for you so there's plenty of demos on HTC's uh, website showing you a lot of that um, as well but you kind of get the idea there in terms of what it does I wasn't originally sold on the feature but now having used it uh, for 24 hours or so I think it's just brilliant and then music you sort of heard it a bit there when it was playing uh, that montage back these front speakers I thought it was a bit of a marketing hype when it was first announced but wow they are brilliant like I hate to say everything is brilliant about this device um, with a lot of high-end phones now it's hard to pick faults but the sound on this just knocks others for six I thought the Sony Xperia Z was good albeit it was just one speaker this is just sublime so let me just play you a track here Now I don't know how well that's picking up on the microphone of the camera, but superb. It's not the best audio experience I've ever heard, but out of a phone, it absolutely is the best experience. You know, if you were playing a movie back to a small group of people, wow, you are gonna be blown away. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be great for uh, music lovers out there. It doesn't sound tinny, it's loud, it's bassy. It's just really, really well worked. So that pretty much concludes the unboxing for the HTC One. We will be back with a full review, but initial impressions of this phone um, are really fantastic. HTC have been struggling over times past, but the One, well, is the one to go for at the moment. Uh, so be sure to check out our full review on our blog uh, and YouTube channel in the coming weeks. But uh, until then, thanks for watching.